This week's grocery haul, almost $300 and a bucket full of yellow stickers. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So this week's grocery haul was broken up into two sections. I went to Walmart last weekend and had to grab a couple of things. I had to grab a couple of birthday gifts and while I was there, I ended up grabbing a bucket load of stuff. So minus the birthday gifts, I spent about $140 in Walmart and then about three or four days later, it wasn't right away. I was supposed to go the next day, but it ended up being like four days later, I went to HEB and spent another 150 bucks. So between both hauls, it's about $300 worth of groceries to show you guys, but Walmart, holy cow, yellow sticker fix like, whoa. I haven't seen yellow stickers like this in a long time. So it was really awesome to grab a bunch of discounts. Plus I was able to cash in on some Ibotta. So it really was a good trip all around. So let me bring you down to the counter. I'll show you what I got at Walmart, at HEB, and then we'll get into the meal plan. Okay, you guys, so here is just a quick overview of what I picked up at Walmart. So I think this portion was about $140, and then I'm gonna go to HEB tomorrow and just finish up what I didn't get. But I like the yellow stickers is just insane. Uh, so I did pick up this pumpernickel loaf bread. I use this to make spinach dip, which I'm actually bringing with me today. So I'm gonna hollow out the bread and then stick the spinach dip inside. And then you can use chips or veggies or the actual bread to eat the spinach dip. So I got that. And then the little potato company had a uh, markdown, $1.34 off of that. These are generally super expensive, you know, four bucks. So I thought this was a great deal. and. This is the savory herb kind. So I'll use this as a side dish for the littles this week. And then I got some pepperoncinis. I needed that for Mississippi chicken. And then I got this garlic Parmesan like shake and bake. And I'm gonna use that for pork chops. And then I got like a jumbo thing of pickles, you guys. Like these are the whole ones. I'm just going to cut them. But between Jacob and Maya, I can't keep pickles in the house right now. So I just got the bigger jar. And then I got one. 2% gallon of milk, one larger thing of our creamer. We're almost out of our Hershey's Simply 5 that I brought from home, so I picked up another one. And then I picked up a Mondo thing of ranch. This isn't like as big as the one that like BJ's or Costco would have, but until I can get to a bulk store, I got this as opposed to the packets because I use that for, you know, making the homemade ranch, the Mississippi chicken. Like I'll even sprinkle that sometimes on potatoes or something. So I uh, got the shaker and then and look at this you guys this was bone broth concentrate so I've been needing to stock up on broth usually I have a whole pantry full of broth and I don't have any but this makes 14 cups of broth and it's bone broth and this was five dollars so I thought that was pretty good I've never tried to concentrate before so I'm curious on trying that and then I picked this up this is Chinese chow mein naked noodles so it's fine egg noodles in a cheese in a classic garlic and soy sauce so I thought this would be pretty good it was like a dollar and change I thought that would be good to try for Jake's lunches and then I got a thing of sour cream need that for the week and for the spinach dip we were we're out of butter so I grabbed some of that there's still a rebate 50 cents off on the Philadelphia cream cheese so I grabbed another one of those you guys down here in Texas they pretty much have HEB and Walmart that's it HEB is like the Monopoly grocery store and then Walmart. Maybe Target or like a specialty store like, you know, whether it be a butcher or Trader Joe's or Costco or something, but your mainstream regular grocery stores are HEB and Walmart. Now they have tons more Walmarts around me than I had back in Carolina. So I need to start venturing out and finding other ones because this store has nothing that I'm accustomed to. They have no brown eggs, you guys. They didn't even have egglands at this one just these kinds of eggs and that was it. Just, you know, large, jumbo, medium size, all white eggs. So I, I don't know, that kills me because I'm like a brown egg person. Um, so I'm gonna have to start venturing out and kind of looking and getting used to what stores have what I need. Uh, no Stony Fields, no nothing, only 
Dynamo squeeze bowls. Like that's it. And those are 350, which I don't really think is a great price because these are not the non-GMO kind or whatever. At least with the Stony Field, I'm paying a dollar more, but they're organic yogurt, so I don't really care. But this is what I'm stuck with to give my kids some yogurt and they prefer the squeezable pouches. So I'm kind of limited. Um, more yellow sticker, got coleslaw and this loaded potato salad. I'm gonna use that for side dishes for a burger meal this week. And then here is the Noor vegetable mix that I use for the spinach dip. Got the kids some string cheese. They were really enjoying that at Marissa's house. So I picked up some for snacking and for lunch boxes. I uh, got some spinach for the spinach dip. And then Jake really liked these meals, you guys. 97 cents they were. So that was really, really good. I actually saw them in the Dollar Tree, but then they would be a dollar. So obviously Walmart is the cheaper deal. So I got the creamy chicken rigatoni with broccoli and then I got him this one again because he said that was amazing the white cheddar mac and cheese with bacon so I uh, got those for him those are great for lunches and then got the thing of egg rolls because we're doing the chicken from Trader Joe's the mandarin orange chicken tonight with the fried rice so I just got some egg rolls for alongside and then you guys I didn't plan on getting meat, but holy yellow sticker. Every single meat was a yellow sticker. So it was worth it for me to get it just because it's a discount and it'll go in my freezer. So uh, this is pretty much all the meat that I'll need for the whole week. So you can't beat that. So for $5.12, only marked down by 75 cents, but still good, was boneless pork ribs. So I'll do that one day this week. And then there was some applewood smoked bacon marked down for 44 cents, down to just $4. Uh, H-E-B probably Probably has a better deal on bacon but I needed some for today so I got the one that was on clearance which I thought was the best deal and I'm gonna cook this up like right now so I got that and then over here is thin sirloin chops so these are like the thinner kind of pork chops and I'm gonna do that with that shake and bake so I saved 72 cents on that and then saved two dollars and four cents on this Angus premium ground beef so I this is two and a half pounds or two and a quarter Pounds, so I got that for ground beef for this week and then I got some cube steak This is actually what I'm going to use for burgers If you guys have never had a cube steak burger if you grill this up and a little bit of like butter and onions in a pan And then use this as your burger It's super 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 tender and I thought that would be really delicious with that coleslaw and potato salad and stuff So I picked up that for that and then I also got let me get out of the light a chuck roast so a pot roast that I'm I'm gonna put in the crock pot and that was a markdown of a dollar fifty so definitely love a good hearty like a pot roast in the crock pot kind of thing so all of the meat that I needed for the week which I thought was great was all a markdown so got that and then here's just our little snack section I picked up another thing of pop secret popcorn because it's still a rebate on Ibotta and we always go through popcorn I did pick up this Betty Crocker Supreme Lemon Bars. I'm going to bring that with me to the party today. So I'm bringing that. And then I got two things of these apple sauces. So we still have some from that box from last week because that was like a 20 pack or something. Um, so we still have some, but these are the ones that have the fruits and veggies too. So this is apple, carrot, and a mixed berry. And then that's apple, peach, and sweet potato. So a great way to get some extra veggies into the kids, especially since they eat one, sometimes two of these a day. Grabbed Mason's Nature's Bakery Fig Bars in the blueberry flavor. These are non-GMO and they're perfect for either breakfast or lunch box. Uh, for $1.70, I got another box of these white cheddar cheese crackers. The kids, Daryl, they've all been picking on the cheese. It's like two sittings between everybody, and they are all gone, which is why I ended up getting this. Maya was with me, and she was begging for goldfish. So I ended up picking this because I was in the aisle looking for those little packets of cookies that I got from Walmart that time, like the alphabet cookies, the oatmeal, and the chocolate chip, like the little packages. And so this one has vanilla cupcake goldfish in there and then the flavor blasted cheddar and then the explosive pizza so I thought that was like we had a sweet and a savory element in here so it was worth the I think this was eight dollars for the 30 pack so I thought that was good you know just for lunch boxes and snacking for the week picked up a big huge thing of green bananas so those will last all week 
These were $4.97 and I had to get them. We just got our couches and steam cleaned them and set up our living room. And the only thing we were missing was like a pretty set of flowers on the middle of the coffee table or something. So I picked up those for that. And then my non-food items down here were just a thing of Scott's toilet paper. I picked up a double pack of our flushable wipes. And then there was $2 back on Ibotta for Priscilla detergent. So I picked that up. So that was it for Walmart, you guys. And then, like I said, I'm going to go to HEB in the morning and just get, like, the rest of the veggies and the lunch stuff that I need. And otherwise, I think dinners and our snacks snacky stuff for lunches are pretty good. So stay tuned and I'll roll you into the next grocery haul. Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of what $140 looks like at HEB. I actually feel like I did pretty good, especially since there was a bunch of coupons and a bunch of like really, really good deals. So I'm gonna start over here with our little produce section. So these were on sale two for four, the Angel Sweet Tomatoes, so I picked those up. Uh, I picked up some celery. Jake said he's been craving that, so I got that. For convenience for this week, I just got the HEB Green Leaf Lettuce Leaves. These are the ones that are like hand washed and stuff. Uh, I have a lot of stuff going on this week and so I really don't have time to like wash a bunch of produce. So uh, I just got that this time. And then these looked really good. They're Sweet Cinnamon Caramel Organic autumn glory apples so i thought that was really yummy i feel like anything autumn is going to start phasing out so i thought that was like a, a good treat for mason you guys know he usually like eats at least an apple a day so um for 3.98 i thought that was a pretty good deal so we picked up those and then a big bag of peppers for maya you know normally i get i'm not sure what the brand is but it's not this brand this was you know something i guess that they normally sell at heb but the ones i normally get from walmart um or like BJ's, they're a different brand, but they're never that big. Look at the size of those peppers. Like they're usually a lot tinier. So when I do the cream cheese and like bacon appetizer, it would have been nice to have like ones like that or that size, like good and diesel. So I'm excited about, you know, trying to play with those and use those for recipes and stuff. Uh, they had more of the carnival grapes. So we picked up those. Uh, a nice big bunch of green bananas. So that'll last us good into next week, which is good. Uh, picked up a thing of organic strawberries. I would have normally picked up the um, just regular strawberries right now just for price convenience, but they didn't look good. Like these looked a lot redder, juicier, sweeter, like I guess. So it was $3.98 for this pound of organic strawberries, which I don't think is so, so bad. Uh, so we picked up that and then we picked up a watermelon, which was $2.98. I think that's a pretty good price for that. And then some frozen veggies. I got a bag of whole baby carrots and then a bag of super sweet corn. Both of those were 97 cents. And then this huge bag of broccoli was $2.98. I thought that was really, really good because this is probably like four, maybe five meals in here. And I would have just bought like one portion for 97 cents. So uh, I thought that was a really good deal. And then while I was in the frozen section, um, these were only a dollar the shoestring fries. So I picked those up. Those are actually really good and quick in the air fryer. And they end up coming out like McDonald's, super delicious. And they use have that like yummy greasy texture if you spray them with the cooking spray. So pick those up for the buck and then $2 and change for seasoned potato puffs. So like seasoned tater tots, that sounded really good, like just different than a regular tater tot. So pick those up. And then here's just my little dairy section. I'm gonna need to get um, milk and a few other dairy items from Walmart. Um, but this I actually picked up for a treat for myself. This is like a super treat and it's a huge cup. So it would probably take me at least three sittings to pick on this, but this is cinnamon rice pudding. And I'm really excited about this. It looks like it's maybe like a Mexican brand, which I'm excited about because I've had some um, Mexican rice pudding and it was probably some of the best I've ever had. So this, like I said, is cinnamon flavor. So I'm excited about trying that. And then this was a rebate and I thought this would be good for something for either a snack or Jake's lunchbox. But this is a Philadelphia dips with tortilla chips. So it's tortilla chips inside of this little cup in there. And then on the bottom in this little container is jalapeno cheddar dip. So it's like a little personal like 
snack. So I thought maybe that for Jake's lunchbox. He likes his spicy stuff. And then a thing of sour cream for the week and tacos. Uh, I saw these, these looked really, really good. I'm wondering if the kids will eat them. So they love cheese and crackers. Um, so I'm, I'm curious, I'm gonna try this out with them. So this is the garlic and herb, laughing cow cheese with the little whole green breadsticks and then you dip in the other side. And so uh, hopefully they'll like them. Um, otherwise I think that Jake would like that or maybe Daryl would take it as a snack. I don't know if I would eat it because of the breadsticks, but um, I do like the laughing cow cheese. Um, this H-E-B had the Stonyfield packs of yogurt, so had to scoop up a couple since they haven't had any. So these are the chocolate chip cookies that you use to eat the strawberry yogurt, and then this is the chocolate cookies that you use to eat the vanilla yogurt. So pick those up for Mace, and then one thing of Philadelphia cream cheese, another 50 cents off on Ibotta, and then this and this together was like another 50 cents for hitting a bonus. So that was pretty good um, for the I think all of that ended up just pretty much making that for free so can't beat that and then speaking of free I did not pay for this mild chunky salsa because if you bought two of these Casa Magnifica yellow corn or Magnifica my goodness Casa Magnifica yellow corn they're $1.68 I bought this like my first trip to HEB and they were pretty good if you bought both bags then you got the salsa for free and we're doing taco night anyways so I scooped that up and then and this is for mama and I'm not feeling guilty about it at all so this is the skinny pop popcorn and it's the white chocolate peppermint so I really like the hot cocoa and it's not skinny pop I'm actually uh, it's boom chicka pop that I really love that comes out during the seasonal Christmas time uh, their white chocolate peppermint is absolutely delicious but their hot cocoa is even better I really really love them um, I haven't seen them just yet but when I saw in the skinny pop version it's it's only 70 calories per serving like this is a nice like woohoo it's almost winter um, treat for mama so got that for myself uh, my husband was with me so he picked out a little banquet beef pot pie as like something to eat as a late night like when he comes home from work picked my kids up some of the bake shop pre-sliced everything bagels and never in my life would I be caught dead as a Long Islander eating these bagels but my kids do not mind so I picked that up for them for breakfast uh, I thought with my HEB haul that I wouldn't really need too much meat but I realized I picked up a lot of pork and beef and no chicken so I just picked up one thing of boneless skinless chicken breasts they were on sale for $1.99 a pound so it's eight bucks for four pounds which will be perfect for a couple of meals um, speaking of a couple of meals this was a great deal these were on sale uh two for six dollars so i got two of the applewood bacon that's the one that we really really love and then you guys this was buy two of the jimmy dean sausage and get one free and it was 368 which is pretty average it's roughly usually about 350 ish in walmart um and then it's usually like seven dollars when i used to buy the double pack in um bj so i was never really saving anything it was just the convenience of buying the whole log so for 368 to buy two of them and get the third one for free that was just insane because then it made them like 230 240 a piece which is a really really great deal for these i use this to make my stuffing which i actually have a cooking video for so i'll link up above if you guys want to check out how i make my like authentic thanksgiving stuffing uh it's so so good and i use uh some of the sausage and i'll make sausage gravy and a big pot of sauce so this will definitely go to use and then in the deli section i picked up some of the sliced American cheese and then I also picked up some peppercorn turkey for lunches and then like I said I had my husband with me so he loves to buy these freezy pop things for the kids that's not really my thing but that's always like a thing he loves to give them my mother-in-law is the same way when she came and we went shopping like she said I gotta get the ice pops for the kids and she paid for the grocery trip so I didn't argue but it seems to be like my mother-in-law that's like Maybe that's a flashback. That's something she gave him and now he wants to give, I don't even know. Either way, he picked up some ice pops and then he also picked up himself a Tony's Meat Trio pizza. You can see the bachelor and my husband that never seems to leave his brain. Um, I also picked up some Genoa salami for myself and Maya with some cream cheese. 
And then I picked up the Organic Smart Kids Strawberry Lemonade Juice Boxes. I want to get the ones from last time, those greenies. That was the coconut water. They loved them. I couldn't believe it. Just coconut water, and my kids were all about it. Um, but this H-E-B did not have them. And that's junk because it was an Ibotta rebate too. But I just got these ones for now. They were on sale for $2.98, which was not a bad deal. It says it's only half the sugar, and so I just got that. And then H-E-B had that deal again, and so did uh, Ibotta. So I picked up another little thing of the little cans. But last time we did the ginger ale on the root beer. This time the deal was for the orange and the 7-Up. So I'll drink the 7-Up, and Dara will drink the orange. But it ends up being like $3.50 or whatever for the two packs of them. So you can't beat that. And then they had a little coupon hanging for these that were two dollars off any two things of annie's fruit snacks so i got jacob the just green box because he really likes the tropical kind and then i got mason ones that are like fruit by the foot so i thought that was really cool and strawberry is his favorite so um got them each a box of fruit snacks for their lunch boxes and then just a couple of cookie things every time i get these i feel like each of the kids end up having that as their bedtime snack, like a couple of them, and then they'll take like four days, five days, and then they're gone. So this ends up being really good for a snack for the week because it's only a dollar, and like I said, it's just something that they'll have a couple of before they go to bed. So this time I got the fudge grams, and then I got the iced oatmeal again because everybody really loved um, those. And again, how do you go wrong for a buck? Um, something else you can't go wrong with another one of the like H-E-B deals like this is why everybody loves H-E-B for this kind of stuff so if you bought this beef kielbasa which was $12.98 if you bought this which I thought was kind of pricey but there's a lot in here so I'm going to cut this in half and use one for a smoked sausage pasta and then one we're going to do um, sausage and pepper so um two meals out of this anyways for the price but if you bought this then you got the tortillas which we're going to use for tacos the mac and cheese which is always good for a side dish this uh sweet apple like slaw kind of salad which that's all me and this bottle of dr pepper were free so we added it up my husband and i and it was about eight bucks in free stuff and this was $13, so pretty much you got this for five bucks, which I think is insane if you're gonna break it up and get two meals out of it. So, uh, loved that meal deal, How, had to pick that up. And then Mason's been really into this like Jello and stuff. So I decided to try the pudding. I got him the chocolate uh, sugar-free pudding. And then I got him some more sugar-free Jello. I got strawberry and orange in this pack. And then I got some bold nacho cheese taco shells to go with these for taco night with that ground beef I got from Walmart. And then these were an Ibotta rebate, so couldn't go wrong with picking those up for Jacob. And then, oh my goodness, you guys so the glue is already missing from this why do we have to buy Gorilla glue because I'm pretty sure one of my dogs hopped on my air mattress you know the only thing I can sleep on until I get my stinking pod yeah I'm pretty sure one of my dogs jumped on them and put a nail through it and so it's either buy another one or try and fix this one and this is the one that I got from eTech City that I absolutely love like and I don't want to buy another one um, which would really really stink so uh, hubby is upstairs right now trying to fix that so I think Fingers crossed that that works um, and then some melatonin mama needs this I have been achy I'm pretty sure it's because I've been sleeping on an air mattress for six months and so I really need some good night's sleep so that was it you guys but I think that was a lot of food and a pretty good deal for $140 at AGB -E now let's get into the meal plan Okay, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday November the 11th through Sunday the 17th so on Monday we did cube steak burgers. I took that cube steak and I made them Oklahoma style like butter and onions in the pan. Really, really good. Topped it with cheese, did it like a burger. Absolutely delicious. We did it with mac and cheese, corn on the cob. Always a winner when we do something like that. Uh, Tuesday we did breakfast for dinner. So you guys are gonna see the French toast that bread that I bought in the next Dollar Tree haul, but I got like really thick Texas toast. So I made some yummy French toast with bacon and watermelon, and I double batched it, of course, so I have some meal prep in the freezer. Uh, Wednesday, we did the sweet and sour pork chops. So I took those pork ribs, rather. Took those pork ribs, and I marinated them in a sweet and sour, baked them in the oven. We had it with noodles and carrots, like 
exactly how I kind of envisioned that I wanted that meal to be. So it really was good and it was like everyone cleaned their plates so it was yummy. Uh, on Thursday we did chicken roll-ups. That's actually a recipe that I have in my cookbook. One of my favorite recipes hands down and something I've been able to make low carb, which I absolutely love that. It's something that I can still have of my old style cooking without feeling that I'm compromising anything. So I love that. And we did that with chips and salsa. We have tons of chips and salsa. So that was perfect. And then you guys, I am like riding the struggle bus with some kind of sickness. I thought it was allergies. Now I'm not so sure. Usually Vanessa is my litmus test for allergies. And if she's not sick with allergies, then I don't necessarily think that it's that's what this is. But I am like congested. My throat, like everything's all clogged up and stuff. So I kind of called it a day. I didn't do anything I thought I was going to do. So I just made grilled cheese sandwiches. We had leftover bacon from earlier in the week when we did breakfast for dinner. So some of us had grilled cheese and bacon. Some had grilled cheese and cold cut turkey. Like serve that with fruit, like super, super easy because I was just trying to get through the day. And then on Saturday, I did that sausage pasta. So I cut up some sausage and I made like my homemade Alfredo and I put that with broccoli and cauliflower and peppers and onions like all over some whole wheat pasta. It was really good. We did that with the apple slaw salad. Like everybody was really happy with that. Matter of fact, Jake's gonna take the leftovers to school tomorrow. And then uh, on Sunday, we did a rotisserie chicken. So I went to HEB with Nicole and Vanessa. We had to take Nicole to an HEB and show her all about that life and while I was there I did a small haul so you guys will see that next week and uh, I picked up some chicken nuggets like the Tyson whole grain uh, chicken nuggets that the kids had and then I picked up a rotisserie chicken that Daryl and I and Jake had and then I pulled it apart and I've been using that for lunches throughout this week as well so that worked out really good we had that with whatever leftover fruit was in the fridge and it ended up being a good week so that was it for this week's grocery haul and meal plan I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys